But one of the easiest ways to get started with styling in React is by using Bootstrap. Now, Bootstrap is one of the oldest ways to style applications, but still it's a nice way to create modern looking applications without having writing too much code. Instead, you can just add classes while importing the main CSS file from Bootstrap. Of course, we can also install the Bootstrap uh, Node.js li npm library into our application. This way you can easily add, add styling to any React application and make it into a modern looking application. And in VS Code, we're gonna be installing the Bootstrap dependency. And we're gonna be installing Bootstrap as a developer dependency as it, does, it isn't needed in our bundled code because it will be injected while bundling. So we'll be using npm install dash dash save dev bootstrap and then press enter. So this will install bootstrap as a developer dependency, um, making it possible for us to import the main bootstrap CSS file into our application. Then I would be going here. Uh, to my uh, index.js file. And in here, I will be importing the file from Bootstrap. This is the Bootstrap main uh, CSS file. And then I will be restarting my development server uh, with Webpack. So Webpack will now take uh, these new rules from style loader and CSS loader and the Bootstrap uh, CSS file that we're importing uh, to re-render application, but now applying Bootstrap styling to it. As you can see, it has some small changes. Uh, you can see the font has slightly changed as it's now using Bootstrap's main font instead of the default browser font. But of course, there's much more we can do. So let's add some styling to the, uh, to the main application page. I will be opening my app component again. And you can see we have this React fragment here. As we are not using, uh, we're not using a div element because we don't want to render useless elements. But now we want to apply some styling here. And we want to apply some styling from Bootstrap. So we're going to be transforming these um, React fragments into div elements uh, just like this. If you would save and render, nothing actually changes. But we'll be using a class name uh, from Bootstrap, uh, which is called container. To specify this component is our styling uh, container component. And if you would watch for change in the browser, you don't see any actual changes just yet. Uh, we would also go to our um, list component, in which we will add a, in which we would also need to add a new div component, div element. So we'll be going right above our loading indicator. We'll be adding a new div with the class name row. And then we also need to close this, close this element right here. So save this and let me forward my code a bit. So now we've added two new components, um, two new classes actually inside our React component. And if you would go to the browser, uh, things look pretty much the same. Besides, it is actually um, scaling every character component to be full width. And this is something we don't really want. So we're going to be adding new cool stuff uh, to this later on. But first, we're going to be adding a header to it. We have this uh, h1 element rendering at the top. But what we actually want is a header component. We go back to VS Code, uh, in which we have our index file right here, which has our sort of a header. And now I'm going to be creating a new component, which I call header.js. So this will be our header component. In here, I create a new function. Um, I call it header, as it is the header component. I don't set a return just yet. Uh, I want to do this in a bit. And I want to set the export default to be the header component. So what I will be putting in here is the header component from Bootstrap. If I would be going to the uh, Bootstrap website, and you can see they have all these components here on the left. You can see they're pretty nice. And what I want to use for my header is the navbar component, which I can render right here. And you can find some information about the navbar components right here. As you can see they have a light uh, navbar component, and they also have a dark one. 
from where it's at the top, uh, which we might be using later on. So that being it, this nefar component. Um, let's see, see if they have the dark one up here, as I like the dark one better. As you can see, we have a nefbar dark. Uh, and let's just copy paste this. Uh, let me take it in here and go to my header component. And in the header component, I also want to render the uh, h1 element that I have here. Copy it right there. And clean this up nicely. In our index.js file, I then want to import my header. Import header. And then render the header instead of the Rick and Morty uh, API H1 elements. If I would save this, I can go back to my browser. And you will be seeing I have a nicer looking header um, right here. You can see you can't really read what is in here because we also need to change the uh, we need to change the font color uh, of our H1 element. For this, we, we go back to VS Code uh, and we add some styling in our header.js component directly to the H1 uh, element. So the class name is Nefar Brand and the text is light. Going back, you can see the text is now actually readable. So for now, let's continue uh, by building up uh, building up the uh, the card components because now we're rendering the characters, but we're all stretching them over the screen. But we want to show them as smaller individual cards. For this, we're going to be using the card component that there is in uh, in Bootstrap. So Bootstrap has a card component. It looks like this, and what we can actually do is we can just copy it and put it directly in our character component. So let me copy this. Go to our character component, which we have here, and return the bootstrap card instead. Uh, what we want to do, we want to apply our own styling to it. So we have a source for the image. Let me just re let me just put our own image in there. Let's say image is this, uh, or alt is our name. And of course, instead of using classes, we want to use class names because we're using React and it wants us to use class name instead of class whenever you're defining a class for an element. It just change again. So change all our occurrences uh, from class to class name. So this should take away all the ugly looking red errors we're getting. Uh, yes, I suppose it does. We have an image component that we need to close. And then we have a card title, which was a H3 title for us, which has the name of the character. Replace this by name. And then, of course, we want to do one more change. We want to also show this origin unknown uh, like this and we can apply the class name to the p so p class name delete everything we're not using uh, like this so what i've done i took the card components from bootstrap and i applied our own rules to it which we earlier uh, which we said earlier on so for the class let me see if i want to but this is actually how I'd like to render it. Let me just save it and see if with 18 um, RAM is whatever we're looking for. It's re-rendering the characters. And as you can see, I'm getting an error. Let me open up the console log and see whatever that error might be. Uh, invalid property name. Uh, so we're doing something wrong somewhere. The style prop. And we have an error right here. So every child in a list should have a unique key prop. That's relatively easy to solve. Let's go to list. And as you can see, we're rendering over the characters, but we need to set a key because that way React will know um, which component it's rendering. So let me set key is character.id. Let me format it. 
and see if we're good to go again. And we actually didn't have this error before, as we never done a full refresh. You see, we have another error coming up. Style prop. Um, so let me see whatever is going on. It probably has to do with uh, whatever we edit here with this style prop. So let me just get rid of the style prop, uh, as we don't actually need it right now. And refresh this application in the browser. You can see we're rendering our uh, characters now, uh, but they're still white, uh, white like this. So what we want to do, we want to apply some uh, some columns to it. And for this, uh, we want to add a column div to our cards. So here we're rendering the cards, but before we're creating the card, we also want to set the width. So we want to set column is three meaning that our characters will be spread over three columns. And if you want to know more about how Bootstrap handles uh, the columns and putting components in a grid, head over to the documentation because everything is explained there in a very nice manner. Let me also format this code nicely. Then head to our components where you can see the grid being applied. We added Bootstrap in order to have styling for our application, without having to write any styling ourselves. So Bootstrap instead, we just import a CSS file for which we need to alter some of our Webpack configuration. And then we use the CSS file uh, to style our application by applying class names with names of specific styling uh, that we have in the Bootstrap CSS file. So you didn't have to write any styling rules yourself. Instead, we just built on top of Bootstrap, which is already a really powerful way to build modern looking applications. 